Alright, take a break there from planting out some flowers. Thank you so much for subscribing, and welcome to another episode of The Urban Gardener. Today, I want to spend a few minutes, kind of keep it short, and just talk about these containers that you've probably seen around the garden in previous episodes with the PVC pipe coming out of the top of them. These are a uh, water wicking five gallon bucket system. I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes here right now putting one together and talking to you about what the theory is behind them. All right, so we're gonna to put together our five gallon uh, water wicking bucket system. Now I call it a water wicking bucket system. Uh, you might hear other people say self watering, um, but I find that you actually have to put the water in yourself. So it's not necessarily self watering, but it is a water wicking system that allows for the roots down below to gather up uh, water and nutrients and bring it up into the plant. Um, really helps during some of those dry seasons as well to help keep the soil moist for the uh, plants, um, especially where they're going to be up on our rooftop like that. It's going to be a real help for the plants as well to be able to have uh, a good steady supply of uh, water. First thing you're going to need, of course, are the buckets. I get plenty of these buckets at a local restaurant. They're a food grade bucket. Don't use anything that has uh, had chemicals in it or anything like that. Um, food grade buckets is what you're going to want to use when you're dealing with your growing plants in them. Okay, so you have two five gallon buckets. You're going to need a half inch uh, PVC tube and I have these cut into two foot sections, 24 inches, with one end of them cut at an angle, okay? And then what I have here also are three inch uh, net pots. And um, these are what will go in the bottom, allow for the roots to grow into and be able to wick the water up into the bucket system, okay? You'll need a three inch hole saw in order to cut the hole for the uh, uh, net pots. All right, the idea behind the water wicking uh, bucket system is that we are going to be supplying water in, in a level at the bottom bucket that the plant can feed its roots through from the bottom bucket up into the second bucket, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do first is provide holes around the bottom for the uh, plant to have its uh, to allow for the plant to have the roots be able to come through and feed as well off of the water in the bottom bucket. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to put some holes around the edge of it. Safety glasses first, of course. Alright, so once we get several holes put around the bottom of our bucket there, we're going to want to now drill in our three inch hole, okay? Alright, now we got our three inch hole cut. We're also going to want to take a 7 eighths drill bit. <coughs> and you'll want to go along the edge somewhere, along the edge here, and drill in a hole. regular bit back on. Okay. So, now also, on the first bucket, the bottom bucket, those two holes you're going to want to drill are going to be about three inches up from the bottom. I've already marked a couple of spots here. 
let's put a couple of holes in there and what this will do this will allow for any excess water in the bucket to drain out so that the water only fills to a certain level okay You got your drain holes on the bottom bucket. You've got holes for the roots around the edge. We've got a 7 8 hole right on the edge here. And what this will do now is allow for us to put the PVC pipe down in there. Okay. Now what you'll want to do once you get the PVC pipe in is you'll want to make a couple of marks to each side of the PVC on the top bucket. And you'll want to help drill in holes at those spots. you do with that then so you take that and you'll need a zip tie so we put it around the PVC pipe through the holes and we tie that off we'll cut that off here in a minute now what you have now is your PVC pipe coming through the bottom where you will feed the water through the top bucket into the bottom bucket. You'll have these holes to drain out any excess water. Now let's talk. At the bottom, the three inch hole is for a three inch net pot. Put that in through this way. The lip of the net pot will catch itself around the edge of the three inch hole and it will come down below. Now what we'll do is this will be full of uh, soil when we plant in our plants and as the plant's root system comes down in through here the soil and the roots can take up the water from the bottom bucket up into the top bucket. There we go. We've got a five gallon water wicking bucket. Now like I said, one of the great advantages of these buckets that I found this last season when I first started using them with my peppers and some tomatoes was that it really helped out in the watering and staying consistent with the amount of water that the plant was receiving. Now, having that sort of uh, consistent watering during hot months in the summertime really helps a plant get along through those time of the year. And it helps you out too because you're not worrying about having to water all that often. Just checking on the pots every now and then to make sure there's plenty of water up to a certain level in there. And one of the things that we're going to be doing this season as I add a watering system uh, up onto the rooftop, we'll just be taking a uh, tube and placing it into our uh, PVC pipe here to just feed the water in from just a turn of the switch. Okay, so I'm gonna get to work on the rest of these. And as you can tell, I have got plenty of work ahead of me to get the rest of those finished up and get them out up onto the rooftop so that in the next episode, we're going to plant out our peppers and put them up onto the rooftop. So check that episode out coming up here later on. All right, let's take a look at our planters we've got around the garden. This one's doing really well. It's got a couple of broccolis there in the middle. And a bunch of different lettuce varieties around it there. 
And even a couple of little kohlrabis up front there. Everything's looking really well. I've already been harvesting lettuce leaves now for the last few days. An update on our potatoes. Look at those things. They're just bursting out of the containers now. I have to say those are doing very, very well. I cannot wait to see what kind of tubers we get out of these containers. Same with this bed here. Got several broccolis growing and doing very well. Surprised I'm not dealing with very much uh, worms or slugs and things eating on it this year. They're all looking really good. Okay, and our other. raised bed here with all of our different varieties we got a couple of pepper plants mixed in with some bok choy and cabbage squash coming up on the end there the sorrels looking really nice throwing lots of new leaves Little Robbie there looking real nice. Cucumbers. Radishes are coming up. We should be harvesting them pretty soon. That's our Brussels sprout in our water wicking containers. Pickling cucumbers going along really well. Getting ready to climb into the uh, wire cages. And our Swiss chard, that's looking really nice. Which we planted out in one of our first episodes. Got some nice radish bulbs popping in there. Lettuce is doing really well. I've been harvesting it along with the other beds of lettuce for the last few days now. So that's all going really well. And right down here, I did plant out some lemon cucumbers that I picked up the other day at a nursery. So I'm real excited to see how those do. One of my favorite cucumbers is a lemon cucumber. And check out those peanut plants. Looks like they're coming along really well. About ready to be transplanted out of there. All right, and the onions that we got trimmed up a couple of episodes back are looking really nice. The stems are bulking up really well. We'll be putting those out into the gardens here in the next couple of days. All right, that's a nice little look around the garden. Got a few of the things that we've had growing on here this season. As you can tell, we've got plenty of work still to do to get the rest of those buckets ready for our peppers up on the rooftop. We're going to finish this episode for today. I'll catch up with you the next time. If you can, hit the like button. If you have any questions at all, hit the comment section below. And please, hit the subscribe button to follow along with future episodes of The Urban Gardener. We've still got a lot of great things coming up. Your support is greatly appreciated. Until next time. hot day and you're chilling in the shade you're just chilling in the shade